Well, today we're talking with animal trainer Mary Green of Canine Manor so you can learn more about some behavior problems or issues you may have been struggling with when it comes to your dog. Mary, welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here today. I know. Glad to have you as always. Now, our first question is from Kimberly. She says, quote, I have a two-year-old Australian cattle dog I got from my son. I've had her for a year and a half, but over the past six months, she's become extremely aggressive toward my cats. They're separated by a baby gate, but I'm afraid she would hurt them if they got together. Yeah, that's tough because she, it may be an age thing. Maybe she's just gotten older and braver. And these little cattle dogs, you know, they're like 35, 40 pounds, and they'll take on a full-size bull, you know, and say, hey, you need to move over. So they're a, they're a tough little, little cookie, that's for sure. Um, it's usually when the cats are on the run that the, that the dogs kind of react to that. The baby gate is a wonderful idea. Um, sometimes you can raise it off the ground so the cats can get underneath and the dogs can't really get over. Right, right. so you um, want to separate them. Yeah, I would say keep them separated. Um, you can try some, you know, make some positive associations when the cats are there. You know, like, hey, they're our family, they're our friends. And, family! You know, do some <laughs> toys, play toys and whatever, but that's a tough one and, and definitely to keep everybody safe, um, I would continue with the separation as much as you can. Right, safety is always key. Yes, good luck, Kimberly. <laughs> uh, okay, our next question is from Diane. And she asks, is there any way to train your dog to shake off before they come in the house? Okay, before we get to that, is that even realistic? I yes, want to it is, oh. actually, yeah. So most behaviors that, that um, animals will do on their own, right, like like shake, like they, you know, like, like they have water in their fur, even if maybe they don't. Once you can capture that, when they do it, yes, good shake, and, you know, praise them and make a big deal out of that. Once you can get a behavior kind of on cue, yeah, they'll do it on cue. So do you have to give them treats or something to get them to do Whatever it? Whatever it is that they want, like, you know, like high fives or, or you know, shake or a ball or a big hug or whatever the dog likes. Treats are great. You know, obviously we want treats in training because uh, that makes a big impression for most dogs. But yes, you can capture that behavior of shake um, when they're doing it and name it like shake. And shake yeah. and then the dog knows. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. It, um, you have to kind of catch them in the act of doing it, and then you can then you have a cue that you can then put it on cue, and they'll respond to that. Okay, great tips as always. And our last question is from Patricia. She says, we have a four-year-old poodle. If any of the family gets up and puts our shoes on or hats, she barks and barks and tries to nip at us. Yeah, probably doesn't want you to leave or wants to go with you. So you kind of have to set that up ahead of time. You have so, to let them know, I need my time. I need my time, right, yeah. and you're not going. So if, you're, if you've got confinement training, like if the dog is crate trained, then get something like a stuffed Kong toy or something and put that in the crate. Get the dog to go in the crate first. All of those things are signs that we are leaving and the dogs know it. So you have to kind of make those things not mean anything. Like, I'm just picking up my shoes and moving them from one room to the other. I'm gonna put my coat on, but we're not going anywhere. So they don't become a predictor of what's gonna happen. And then when you do need to do it, you gotta, you, you kind of have to set the dog up for success and confine her ahead of time. But just kind of practice a non-event and don't make a big deal when you leave or when you come home. It's just like, you know, no big deal. I'm home or I'm leaving. I will be back. I will be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, lovely. Mary, thank you always for joining us. We Our really pleasure. appreciate it. Now, if you do have a question for Mary about training your dog, all you have to do is send us an email at noonshow at griffin.news.